Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Florida drivers can now be pulled over for texting behind the wheel alone, but there's a chance those caught won't receive the $30 ticket that comes with the offense. The Florida Highway Patrol says until the end of the year, its troopers will be issuing warnings instead of tickets in most cases. Really what we want to do is express how important it is that they are putting that phone down, that they're taking this new law to heart, and that they're changing their behavior on the roadway. Amy Mercer with the Florida Police Chiefs Association says many local law enforcement agencies are also going to take the first few months to educate the public on the dangers of texting and driving. Because the last thing we want them to do is learn the hard way. Demetrius Branca, whose son was killed by a suspected distracted driver, says he's confused by the decision to delay full enforcement. The time for warning is over. Uh, we've known for years that this is a deadly behavior. We've known for years that it's costing people lives. Safe driving advocates have questioned how enforceable the new law will truly be. Police must obtain a warrant in order to search a person's phone, and people can still use their phones for GPS purposes. While law enforcement says there are ways to distinguish texting from other phone uses, they agree the law could be strengthened going forward. I think down the road we'll all be seeking hands-free legislation. And starting October 1st, school and work zones will be designated as hands-free, but no tickets can be issued to violators until the start of 2020. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.